Hey guys, another software collecting video, and this one's going to cover something that I don't think a lot of people in the software collecting community talk about very much. It's why uh, some collectors value very highly the condition of diskettes inside each of their items, and why some don't. Uh, part of it is because sometimes it's very hard to figure out if uh, what the actual condition of a diskette is. Um, and in fact, a lot of people collect uh, some software collectibles specifically just for the things other than the diskette that are in the package. They feel that the uh, diskette contents can be gotten anywhere, and uh, but what you can't get are things like a cloth map or a little uh, a feely, what uh, you know, the little trinkets that Infocom used to put into their boxes, etc. I'm not like that. I'm part of the collectors that actually do value the condition of a diskette, but I wanted to point out something that makes it a little difficult sometimes to uh, to gauge the condition of a diskette. Most of the time, when you see this sort of discoloration, there we go, at the top center of a label, it means that a diskette has been used an awful lot, and that the oils, uh, the natural oils that are part of people's skin, have um, started to interact with either the label uh, backing or the glue or whatever whatever it is you want to call it that you know that affixes the label to the disc and it'll result in this sort of degradation you can see it on another heavily used uh, diskette from uh, from youth this wasn't mine but this was a friend of mine's and you can see right by the epics he played it quite a lot and right where you would hold it with your thumb to stick it into the drive it's discolored at the top sometimes however and I used to I used to think that this was true Sometimes using the diskette a lot would cause, I used to think it would cause the reaction to start. There, there's discoloration around all the top edges of this. It's concentrated in the center of the label, but it's starting to seep in all sides. You can also see this over here. Again, this is something we used to play incessantly. Um, although it's mostly at the top center, where you would be holding it constantly, it's spread to the sides. Now, I used to think this was something that users started, that handling the disk gets started. Well today I opened up a brand new uh, item, Storyboard Plus, in case you're curious. Now you'll have to take my word uh, my word for it that this was shrink wrapped. It was. This was I opened this up about half an hour ago. Brand new. Everything is, uh, even the manual pages are still shrinked. You get to the diskettes. And the three and a halfs are okay, but check out the five and a quarters. They look like they've been saturated all the way through with oil. Whatever the, the diskette, whatever the label, the, the glue was that held the label, um, there's been some sort of process. Now these diskettes uh, were created in 1987. It is now January 2014. So whatever happened in that time, there was some sort of a chemical reaction that caused that sort of discoloration to occur, even though these diskettes have never been handled. Um, another thing I thought that was very interesting about this shrink-wrapped package was that the diskettes look like they've been hand-labeled by a previous owner, but this is how they came. So they were, uh, I guess they were, it was done like this at the factory. That's very atypical. Um, I don't think you would ever see this with a game or entertainment title. Um, it might have been more common for lower runs like this. This is a very specific application. So uh, one of the it, so that's that's about it. This is a quick video. Um, the uh, collectors generally fall into two camps: people who do and do not care about the quality of diskettes. The people who don't care about the quality of the diskette and the package are of the camp that they can just simply download it. Well, I'm in the other camp because I'm the guy. <laughs> I'm the camp that provides the data to you. The reason I have this storyboard plus is because I wanted to make sure it was properly archived. Uh, it's an early example of presentation software, uh, certainly long before PowerPoint ever existed. And uh, without people in my camp grabbing the diskettes and archiving them, the people in the other camp wouldn't have them at all. So, anyway, that's all. Just a quick video. Um, I hope to uh, pepper you throughout the entire year with more software collecting videos, including things uh, involving variations and uh, maybe some hints and trivia. So, stay tuned for those.